If you're looking to teach good instincts and trusting your instincts, you won't find a better drill than the Aussie drill to work on that skill. The key for the feeder, the feeder is going to be on the infield grass. He's going to be standing and he's going to face his partner. <clears throat> he's going to turn and he's going to work on throwing a firm short hop to his infielder who's on his knees. Now for the fielder. The fielder is going to be on his knees and there's some keys to this drill. One is we have to stay tall. We can't sit back on our heels. We got to stay tall. The second is we have to draw our fielding arc. Our fielding arc. This is the area in which I should be able to move through and cut off the hop. Anything outside of that arc is an in-between hop and a very difficult ball to handle. Because we are all gifted with instincts, we have to learn to trust them. And if we trust them, we will be accurate in receiving the baseball. If we second guess ourselves, it will often cause mistakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our glove and relax. We're going to let the ball come inside the arc into the fielding zone. When the ball gets into the fielding zone, I am going to work through keeping my fingertips to the ground and I'm going to cut the hop off. Once I receive the ball in my glove, it's my goal to get my shoulders turned and snap the ball quickly. This allows me to work on my transition of the baseball and be quick with the release. When we go to the backhand side on the Aussie, we just want to slightly turn our knees on a little bit of an angle. We're not looking to get sideways here. We just want to make it so our hips can clear because our goal is to get our glove off to the side of our knee. This is going to allow us to work through and keep our fingertips to the ground. I want to make sure that I get turned early. Once the feeder turns his shoulders, I have to turn my shoulders and get into this position, otherwise I'm going to be late. So when he turns, I turn, the ball's coming in, I'm going to cut the hop off, working through the hop, quickly make my transition back to my partner. Glove side going to throw off. I need to keep my fingertips down. Again, we do not want to flip up. Okay? We want to be really quiet with our movements through the ball. Really quiet with forward movement. I come through, cut the hop off, come up, make a quick transition to my partner. 